Uh, I'm Kazuhiro Doi, uh, Corporate Vice President and leading the research uh, division, uh, global research in Islam. The main challenge of the autonomous driving, fully autonomous driving, is uh, the first thing is the safety, actually. Yeah, how safe uh, we can drive in the, such a com complicated environment. Yeah, especially in the case of the London, you know, the driving environment are very, you know, complex. Uh, we have a roundabout, and uh, our drivers is uh, rather aggressive. Uh, we can see uh, lots of the cutting situations. Yeah, because of the London bus is uh, stopping a lot, and uh, you know, other road users have to avoid uh, such a kind of situations. Yeah, and uh, so in that sense, you know, that we have uh, many, like I say, the risk, say, risky situations for the driving. But uh, the question is how we can handle such a kind of complex, complex situation with an agile manner. But uh, if we want to move the vehicle agile, you know, sometimes you know, uh, the passengers are not comfortable yet. So, uh, so that's why you know, uh, we have to be very smooth, smoothly you know, uh, handle the situations uh, to provide uh, more comfort to the customers. Yeah, that's, uh, there's uh, tons of the, you know, the challenges, but uh, the London is uh, one of the most difficult cases, I think. Okay, in case of the Nissan, uh, the we, uh, we have uh, mainly three locations for, to, to test the autonomous driving. And the one is uh, Japan, Yokohama. It's uh, my hometown. And uh, the other is uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, we have uh, many uh, AI engineers in the Silicon Valley office. And uh, they are leading the research for such a kind of, uh, you know, the more intelligence. And in case of London, you know, uh, we uh, are tackling the European dedicated environment. So as a global location for the autonomous driving research, I have uh, three main uh, locations. You know, the first one is uh, Yokohama in Japan, and Silicon Valley in the United States, and uh, London in the UK. Nissan uh, announced uh, Ambition 2030. And uh, in that program, you know, uh, AD ADAS is uh, one of the important pillars to realize the cleaner, safer, and uh, more inclusive society. And, uh, I, and uh, uh, the one of the big expectations to the uh, autonomous driving is to contribute the more accessible society. So, and the mobility in the uh, city and the mobility in the countryside are very different. Maybe the, in the city like London, uh, we have some uh, mobility issues like uh, traffic jam, and also the uh, some traffic accident, and also the, some, you know, uh, the exhaust gas. But in the countryside, you know, the, the most important or more difficult uh, issue is the accessibility. Yeah, especially in the case of the countryside, uh, we have more and more senior peoples uh, which cannot drive uh, by themselves. So, and uh, I expect the autonomous driving to provide more accessibility for their daily life yeah, to move freely. As for the Nissan uh, autonomous driving, we have uh, two expectations to the uh, autonomous driving. For the passenger car, yeah, we make the car more safer and uh, more convenient. And uh, for the autonomous driving, like a level four, so-called level four, uh, we expect you know, the more accessibility to the society, so-called uh, robotaxi type of things. Okay, so actually uh, I joined Nissan about uh, 30 years ago. And uh, at that time, I thought, you know, the uh, EV will come. And uh, finally, autonomous driving will come. But uh, now it's really the timing uh, to realize all the stuff. Yeah, and uh, from now, you know, what I want to see is uh, how those technologies deploy in the, in the world. So now, you know, uh, every country is, you know, taking more and more electric vehicles. Uh, to uh, realize a cleaner society. And uh, I'm sure that, for sure, that you know, the autonomous driving or unmanned vehicle will come soon uh, to be deployed in the society. And uh, then, but still, you know, uh, I believe that you know, the passenger vehicle drive by the human drivers still remains. We need that. And uh, we, I want to enjoy the driving, actually. But uh, you know, autonomous driving, or fully uh, autonomous driving, like, like unmanned vehicle, 
uh, will contribute to society with a different way. Yeah, and uh, that is also another, I can say, not say firm, but uh, expectation for me for the future society.